Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade RockSim from a previous version. This is for Windows computers. Now if you're on a Mac, we have a different video because the process is different on the Macintosh. So this is for Windows. So the first thing you need to decide is what you're going to do with your current data files because the installation process may override those data files. So there's two types of files on your Windows computer. There's your RockSim designs, which are the completed rockets, and then you're, there are the parts files and your motor files. And they're stored in two separate locations, so please be aware of that. You're going to have to uh, move things around um, if you want to save them. If you're doing a new installation, just let it default as it installs. Let me go over here to my PC computer and bring that up so you can see what's going on here. Um, so your RockSim designs are stored in the uh, RockSim applications folder. So on your PC computer, uh, go to C drive, open that up, and you're going to find the program files folder, and you want to open that up. And inside of that, you'll find RockSim 10 folder. Now, here is where all your design files are stored. Not the motor files, not the parts databases. Those are stored in a different location. But here are your design folder. So these are your old designs. So if you want to save these, take this design folder and maybe drag it to the desktop um, and so later, after it is installed, take the new design folder that's created here and drag that into the trash and drag your old folder into this location, into your RockSim 10 program folder. Now, this program folder here is, we're going to talk about this in just a minute. This is a, an important program folder. So you have the option when you're downloading the update, there's two versions of the update, just the updated parts, and that's only the things that go inside of this program folder. Or you can install the full version. The full version is definitely going to override your design folder, and it's also going to override the, your parts databases. So, um, if you just want to install the newest um, version of the software application itself, just do the, um, the partial upgrade, just the files that are being changed. And it only changes those files you see listed here in this folder. Okay, so now, now that you know where your designs are stored, where are your parts and your motor files stored? Now those are in a hidden location. So again, we want to go back to our C drive, open that up. Um, then we want to go to the users folder. And inside of there, you're going to find your folder of the name of your computer. Now this computer that I have here in front of me is my daughter's computer. And she named her computer Ashley Van Milligan. On your computer that you have that you're operating on, your name is going to be different. So don't look for Ashley Van Milligan. It's not going to be there. It's going to be your computer's name. Um, so double click on that. And we want to find this folder. And you notice that it's kind of, um, kind of washed out a little bit. And it's called App Data. This is the hidden folder. Now, normally, you wouldn't see this folder. But to see it, because this is where it's stored, we need to go to the View menu right here. And we need to check the box that says show hidden fold or hidden items. That's this icon right here. If I uncheck it and if I go back here, you can see that app data is gone. So we need to go make sure that this hidden items is checked. And now it is available, but it's kind of washed out, but it is still available. So go ahead and double click on that. And then we can open up the local folder inside of there. And then inside of that one is the folder called Apogee Components. Open that up. 
And then here is where your Roxim data is stored. So go ahead and open up the Roxim underscore one. This is for Roxim version 10. And inside of here, you'll find more folders and we want the one called data. And the data folder is where all your parts are stored and where your motor files are stored. Now, um, if again, as before, if you want to save your parts, drag them out of here at this time before you install the, the program. Now your motor files, when usually in the, the updates that Apogee produces, we update the motor files and you probably do want the latest motor files. But if you have custom motor files that you've created yourself, please be aware that this is the point where you need to decide whether or not you want to override them or to uh, merge them or, you know, uh, let Roxim um, install the new stuff. Okay, so that's where the old data is stored. Now let's go through the process of updating Roxim. So I have Roxim already open right here. And if you go to the help menu, click on that and then under there it's check for updates. And this is the type of screen that you will see that there is a new update available. And it will list all the changes that are available in this update. And then down here are the two buttons that I talked about previously. There's download only the updates and it's only going to change that program folder, only those items in the program folder. It's not going to change anything in your design folder and it's not going to change any of your databases. But we recommend that you download the full version so that you get those new updated motor files. So you have to decide right now which one you're going to choose. Um, if you're unsure, choose just download only the updates. But if you want those new motor files, download the full version. And this is a big file, so I'm going to click on this and it's going to go for a little bit to start downloading. And you can see there's a progress bar down here. Um, and when it's done, uh, this message from download in progress will change, change to download complete. So I'm just going to have to wait for this to occur because uh, it's a pretty big file. Okay, now it says download complete and we will install the full version. Click on that button down there in the bottom right. And this is going to tell you that you have to close Roxim in order to start the installer. So we're going to click OK. And then we have to close Roxim. We need to exit the program. So you can either exit here from the file menu or you can click on the X in the top right hand corner. So we're going to exit Roxim. And now it's going to start the update process. So um, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer? And you're going to say yes. And it's going to start the installer right here. So accept the license agreement. Click next. Add a desktop shortcut. Say yes. Click next. And then install. And now it's going to go through the installation process. Okay, and then click on finish. And you can see that it installed a new shortcut here on our desktop, along with the engine edit shortcut. Uh, so now you can start Roxim. One of the new things you'll see in this version is that you can hit the escape key and it will get rid of that flash screen immediately. Um, but once you do that, um, you're now up and running with the latest version of Roxim. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to merge all your databases. Uh, we recommend that you do, but if you have made a lot of changes to your parts databases, um, you may want to go through these one at a time. So you, uh, by clicking yes, 
it will step you through each of the parts to ask you if you want to override it. If you say yes to all, it'll just do it automatically. Um, if there's a single part that you don't want to import, click no. And if you don't want to import anything, click no to all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click yes to all. Um, it will only overwrite things of the same name that have a new file creation date on them. So you don't have to worry um, if you didn't change anything. Um, you're just going to get the, the latest and the greatest uh, parts databases. Okay, um, and then when you're ready to start Roxim, just go ahead and click that File Open button. Select your rocket, and off you go. So that's it. That's all you need to do to upgrade Roxim.